Hello, sweet friends. This is Mari with Fun Paper Art and another episode of the Maggie Holmes collab that I am hosting. And I did create this beautiful pockets using the carousel collection from Maggie Holmes. I also did use this mesh from BB Craft. And I did use this bow charms from BB Craft as well. I will make sure to have links to them in the description box in case you are interested. And I do have a coupon code for $5 off orders over $40 on their website. The coupon code is FUNPAPER5. I will have it in the description box as well. So let's take a look at the pockets that I created. But before that, I would like to share with you how I altered this jewelry box, also from BB Craft. I did paint this in gold and this side as well. I think that made the jewelry box even more pretty. And inside it's the same. I did use this acrylic paint from Hobby Lobby. This is antique gold from Anita's. And to create this beautiful pockets, I was inspired by a die set from Sizzix. And Hobby Lobby was selling before. And I never bought it, but I saw someone playing with that die and I decided to work with my stash and create some pockets similar to those that you can create with the die set. So I do not know the dimensions uh, for the pockets that the die set makes, but here are my pockets. Let me see. They measure four by almost three and a half inches. And I did use a border punch for this part here. I did use a corner punch for these hearts in here. I did stitch all around with different colors of red. And yes, let me move this so I can share this one with you. All right, so here I did add this ticket from my stash. I did add some sequins in here. I did stitch both tickets. And for this one, I did use my tiny stapler and I did use golden staples. I did add this eyelet in here in this pink color and here you can see the charm from BB Craft. Over here you can see the mesh from BB Craft as well. This is an ephemera piece from the carousel collection. Over here, I did add these balloons that I created with a punch and I did pop them up on some foam. I did use a golden marker for some accents here. And then I did use this thread for the strings of the balloons. And in here, I have this star from the carousel collection and some sequins. And I did use this beautiful trim from Hobby Lobby at the bottom. And I think it turned out so pretty. I did use a Dollar Tree heart die for this part in here. And here is the back. Then I did create this one here. And this is more similar to the die set from Sizzix because I did make this tag shape for the top and over here I did add the bow charm and some balloons popped up on some foam. I do have the golden string for the balloons. I do have some pink diamond dots in here. This ribbon trim is from Hobby Lobby. Over here you can see the mesh from BB Craft. And again, I did use the heart die from Dollar Tree for this window here. Then I did use this ribbon rosette that I created 
uh, a few years ago <laughs> and I am just using now and I think this ribbon was from Hobby Lobby and then over here I have this heart ephemera from Carousel I did stitch here with pink thread added some golden staples then here I do have a golden heart and a butterfly with pink diamond dots for the center super pretty this ephemera is popped up on some foam and here is the back last but not least I created this one also so pretty again I have the bow charm the eyelet from my stash I did use a different punch for this part here this is a bow punch from my stash here you can see the balloons popped up on some foam and they do have the strings as well but they are hidden behind this ephemera from carousel that I did stitch over here I did add this pink diamond dots this ephemera is popped up on some foam for this window I did use a ticket punch from Fiskars and you can see the mesh from BB Craft behind this ephemera then here I have this beautiful star train from my stash I think I got from Ali over here I have this beautiful bowl from Hobby Lobby this is a sticker from Maggie Holmes that I did distress around with Victorian Velvet distress ink I did glue onto some cardstock and fussy cut over here I have a piece of a ticket from my stash I did distress the borders with Victorian Velvet distress ink as well and I added glue and glitter to make it shiny I do have some golden staples in here as well and over here I have a star from Maggie Holmes carousel and this sequin and I think it turned out so pretty I love them all here is the back and they're gonna be super fun to gift a little card or a gift card or some little goodies and that's it for this project share thank you so much for watching please like this video subscribe if you haven't already and i will talk to you pretty soon bye for now